Did you know that Afghanistan has more than 60 marble mines? More than 35 types of marble? More than 45 different colors, amounting to 9 billion tons of marble and worth $150 billion? Join me in this video. Currently, about 35 types of marble with 45 different colors can be obtained in 60 marble mines in Afghanistan. A total of 9 billion tons of marble with a value of $150 billion has been estimated throughout Afghanistan. The most important mines currently being mined. Marble mines are Kabul, Ghazni, Logar, Maidan Wardak, Jalalabad, Helman, Badakhshan, Bamyan, Herat, Kandahar, Faryab, Paktia, Parwan, Ghazni, Panjshir, and Samanga. At the moment, extraction is done from 16 mines in Afghanistan. Kogiani Nangarhar White Marble, Chesht Herat White Marble, Samangan Karimi Marble, Kabul Black Marble, Maidan Wardak Steel Marble, Shurchai Salang Marble, Tara Kel and Karazmir Green Marble, and Kandahar Red Marble are among the top marbles. The white marble deposits of Chesht Herat and Kogiani Nangarhar are like Italian Carrara marble. They have the best quality. In addition, the marble reserves of Helmand and Faria provinces are among the reserves that have excellent quality in the world. It should be added that Rackham is one of the best types of marble stones, which have a grainy texture and show a special clarity and polish after polishing. There are several marble quarries in the heights of Baba Mountain, especially along the Suf Valley Road in Mazar-e-Sharif, six quarries in Kabul province, 11 quarries in six Panjshir districts, four quarries in Herat. Until now, there is no other big factory in Afghanistan that can cut and polish marble with the capacity of a country, like the Kabul stone and concrete factory that was burned. Statistics show that 80% of Afghanistan's marble and granite are transported to Pakistan for processing and polishing at a price of $1.40 per ton, which, after processing, is sold again in Afghanistan at a price of $1.300 per ton. In recent years, several factories have been built in Herat. Granite, or Sankara, is one of the hardest volcanic stones and internal stones in Korea. In the olden days, people of Afghanistan used this stone for repairs due to its strength. Today, it is used in carpet repairs and roads. Breaking this stone with tools like hammer and pickaxe is exhausting. Nowadays, good electric machines have been invented to properly break this stone. Almost all the small roads of European cities have been paved with this stone since centuries ago. In this sense, special attention has been paid to this stone. Herat Marble is located 125 kilometers east of Herat, starting from Ube District and extending to Chisht District. In 1976, four types of high-quality marble, white, vegetable, ibra, and granite were found in chesht -e sharif with a length of half a kilometer and a width of 100 meters and a capacity of 9.5 million cubic meters. But the recent studies in that area have estimated the length of these mines to be more than 20 kilometers. Rokom, Travertine, and Chapmak mines in Chisht, Zindajan, and Gorian districts are among the open and extractable mines in Herat. Herat marble mines are the largest quality white marble mine in Afghanistan. Several private companies have contracts with the Ministry of Mines and Petroleum of the Afghan government to extract marble from Chisht mine. Currently, more than 1,000 tons of materials are extracted from these mines daily. Marble is exported to foreign countries. Recently, Turkmenistan has built a city called Marmari from this stone, which is very beautiful. High quality marble is available in various colors such as rainbow, green, gray, black, and white. It exports well abroad. This year, the export of Chisht Sharif marble to Italy, India, China, Turkmenistan, Turkey, Taiwan, and Indonesia has increased. Herat marble used to be exported in raw form, which was a severe economic blow to the country. After numerous complaints from Herat marble factory owners, the Afghan government issued an order to stop the export of raw stone. And now, this is no longer happening. For this reason, 40 stone processing factories were out of business. And now, after solving this problem, they have been reactivated. At the Afghan Pearl Mining Company, professional geologists and geophysicists from Turkey, Egypt, Australia, Africa, 
Canada, and the United States of America are working in these mines. Kogiani Marble Mines are one of the Protozoic Rocks and are located in the south of Jalalabad city in Kogiani district. The marble color of this mine is white. The marble mine of Ghazni province is colored in white. Some Mangan marble is from the period of Kretoshims and Palagina, that is, 45, 90 million years ago. The marble color of this mine is brown, yellow, and blue, and fossils are found in some of the stones. Kabul Marble Mine is from Protozoic period. In Kabul province, seven colors of marble can be found in places such as Karizmir, Tarakhel. Onyx is an agate-like marble and is a well-known type of quartz. Onyx is found in white and other colors. It is found in Faryab, Bamyan, and Helmand, provinces in green, brown, and yellow colors. Logar marble quarries existed in Abbazak, Mohammad Aged Danau areas, and they are among the Protozoic period quarries. The color of Mohammed Aged marble is white and black from Denu, tea milk color, and brown from Obazak is dazzling brown and brown. Wardak Square marble is from the Proterozoic period and is located near Shar Square. Vardak Field marble mines are 450 meters thick and 12 kilometers long and have gray and light gray colors. The Badakhshan marble mine is located in the Baini Kamar area of Faizabad. It has crystal and coarse marble. The reserves of these mines are estimated at 1, 300 million tons. Shibartu granite mines of Bamyan province are located between Bamyan and Yakovlang. The stone of these mines has coarse grains and large pink feldspar crystals. Kanjan granite mines are located 90 kilometers south of Pul Khomri city in Baglan province. These mines were discovered in 2013 by a private company. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this channel for more videos.